So if you're trying to figure out how to use the user tab up here to assign these buttons, you will go to setup and then you'll end up going over here to where it says CC edit. And then from CC edit, you have all sorts of different options. So we're going to end up making for what I would like to do. Some DCAs will be on this first one and do make sure that you are on user one through four because it will let you be on all sorts of different things. So we'll be on user one through four. We'll go down and we will find DCAs, which I don't know where it's at, but they would put a DCA over there. There's DCA mutes. Oh, well, I do know I want to put a mute group on the very bottom. So 13 through 16, we're going to have that be a mute group and it's going to be our mute group for effects. And now that is down there. And this one, I'm going to make it be a mute group for our entire instrumentation. So after you've added that there, it does put it down at the bottom. And we just didn't see any videos explaining how to use that portion of the console. So there you go. And you can look through and find everything you need to. And once you've got it there, you do have the customization of being able to make it color as well. So if I make both of those be red, I'll turn on the light. That way it will show up. And you can see that we have it red there. And we do have the light. That way we can mute and unmute. The same thing here on the wing rack. If you want to be able to use these custom trans buttons, you would end up going over to setup. You would go up to the CC edit, and then you can change those to be whatever you want to. And you can also change the knobs that are above them to change whatever parameter that you would want. So if we wanted to, and excuse me for not knowing exactly where everything is, but if we wanted this thing to be an effects time, you could go ahead and hit it, find effects, wherever it would be on here and hit it. And it looks like they've already done that for you, which is kind of cool. So if I were to exit out, you can see that your effects time, you can select it here and change it, which is kind of cool. So that's how you can get to it on the wing rack. And then we also have the full size wing. So one more thing we did add here is if you hit the view button here, I'm going to hit it and it shows up these virtual faders. So you can change those by just hitting config. And I brought down the MC microphones, the iPhone, and just kind of our money channel. So we labeled it money. You can have quite a few of these here, which is pretty neat. So whenever you have that there, now if I was mixing the show and using the other faders, at all times on the screen, I would be able to take our background music, fade it off, let the show start, still be able to bring up our MC microphones, or we can have the vocals at all times, which is just really good. So if you're on this view, you have all your usual channels that you can get to, or you can just get to these shortcuts. So I thought that would be something else cool just to show you guys if you're using the compact, since you don't have the extra faders, you can just make your extra faders be on the screen instead of having to do an iPad. And then as soon as you get this where you needed to, you could quickly go to home and you could go back to mixing the wing. So the same thing on the full size wing, you would just go down to setup, go up to the CC edit, and then you have the buttons that are here. So on these, you do have options to go up and down to make different ones. And you would do the same thing. You would end up just moving whatever you want to be on either the knobs or the buttons. So if you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe. So we have set these up to where our first button is going to be a drum DCA spill. So whenever we hit it, it'll spill the entire drum kit over to there. We've got our string. It'll do the same thing. Key, vocal, horn effects, MCs, and jams are all DCA spills, which I know you can just get to it using the DCA button, but this will allow me to hopefully just stay here. So then if we have to fade down music, we can just hit eight while a show starts and just kill that DCA. So uh, the next thing that we've got is going to be SD record. So nine is going to start it recording on SD. 10 is going to mark that it's a new song. If I can remember to hit that after every song. And then 11 is going to be recording on the USB drive instead of the SD. 12 I'm leaving just in case I have to add some things. And then we've got uh, 13 is going to be an effects tap time. 14 is going to be a talkback mic that's a latch mode, so I can actually hit it, let go, talk, hey, you guys need to turn down, let go. And then we've got effects for the mute group for effects and the instrument. So that'll do our effects, that'll mute all the instruments. 
So very useful to have this here and to be able to do things.